Hello, this is Randy Allen with Engraving Concepts, and here we have a picture of a dog tag where everything is shifted or engraved off-center to the left. So we're going to demonstrate how to adjust the calibration settings on a laser engraving system and how to get that back on center on the hardware so you don't have to go change the software and the layout. So let's get started with the calibration, and that's typically X-Home and Y-Home on a mechanical or laser system. So here we're going to start with a brand new page in CorelDRAW and we're going to call this square box test. We're using CorelDRAW X6 or 16. So I'm going to use a 6x4 piece of plastic and then we're going to type in a width of 6 and a height of 4 and press enter. So our page size is 6 inches wide, 4 inches tall and notice in CorelDRAW that the 0, 0, there's a 0 down in the lower left corner and a 0 at the top left corner. This is because we're working in that positive pod, positive quadrant of Corel. And so that has no functional difference to the equipment. Our laser or mechanical engravers typically start in the upper left corner anyway from their home position. So we're going to create a square box, perfect square. And we're going to throw that on the screen and then go to the property bar and type a 1 inch width and a 1 inch height. Now that we have our perfect square, we need to position that one inch from the left and one inch from the top. So we're going to do that with our guidelines and just click and drag over and drop that off and change the property of that to an x-axis of one inch. And then we're going to grab the top guideline ruler and drop that off and put that at three inches. So now we have our guidelines showing that one inch margin on each side so we're going to then with our snap to guidelines turned on we're going to click and drag and move that and it'll snap exactly to a one inch from the left and one inch from the top this is what we're, we're going to laser engrave or use as a mechanical engraver and we're going to measure that to make sure our equipment is accurately engraving where it's supposed to if it doesn't we could continue just to edit our layout, but we really want to get our equipment calculated so that it is doing that at the machine and not have to make adjustments on the software. So here we have our square box test layout, and when I push go, the laser from the upper left corner is going to engrave that. So let's push go. It's auto-focusing to our material. Notice we're not going to use enough power on our laser to cut all the way through the plastic. We just need enough to show the mark. So now that we have our first box engraved or marked, we're going to take a set of calipers, preferably these digital calipers over a ruler, and we're going to measure from the left edge of our page to see what kind of measurement we have there. Now this needs to be exactly one inch and we see that our equipment is engraving off. So that would not be engraving our name badge or our coaster in the right position. So instead of making the adjustments to the layout every time, we're going to change a calibration setting on our equipment. So after we've ch tested our box, we're, we see that we need to change the calibration. And to do that on this epilogue laser equipment, now this could be done on just about any laser engraver or mechanical engraver. On a piece of equipment there's typically a set of values called X home or Y home and to get there on this particular model we're going to push the configuration button and scroll to that first value called X home. Now not every machine will have the same value here. It could be a positive number or negative number but when you first boot up your equipment it uses these numbers to calibrate from where it's going to begin the engraving so these numbers need to be adjusted up or down to calibrate correctly from the upper left corner we have one for X home and we have one for Y home notice they're completely different so each machine will be a different value and need to be adjusted on this particular model every time we do an up or down that is moving that one thousandth of an inch so we see that our measurement or calibration on our equipment is 64 thousandths off. So the way that we would adjust that on this particular model 
is going to our x home value and increasing this to 64 points. We would do that here, making those adjustments, pushing go, and that would save that to the firmware of just about any model of machine. Also understand that as you make adjustments to these numbers, it might actually run out of room. That's not typical, rare is the case, but if you run out of calibration room on the value, then on most models you have the ability to make adjustments to your rulers. This particular ruler has a um, Allen screw that you can make adjustments to and move the rulers up or down so that you get a one inch from the left and one inch from the top. So we're pushing go on our job and we're going to position that in a different piece of material. Let it auto focus. So we're going to take our measurement, turn on our calipers. Good idea to make sure you're starting from zero with those closed. And then we'll move those out and check it. Should be right at one inch. Yeah. So that's what we want. And by the way, as you're doing this exercise, you want to make sure that you're working on one axis at a time. So I want to get the x-axis done first, or the y-axis first, and then work on the next axis. So to conclude, I'd like to point you to a couple of different websites. One is engravingconcepts.com, where you can find more information about us and how we might be able to help. Furthermore, epiloglaser.com has at the top of their webpage a tech support tab. And this tab has a wealth of links, such as a knowledge base, submitting tech support tickets, laser manuals, driver firmware, downloads, and CorelDRAW resources. But I've typed in the search query X Home through all categories and it has found an article on how do I set up the X Home position on my Mini or Helix. So when we select this link, it's going to give us a question. How do we set up the home position? And then it gives us the steps and the tools needed on how to do that. So I hope this information has been helpful. Thank you very much.